is Anne Hess with Be Fit. And we are just starting week five of our spring programs. Can you believe that after this week we are halfway done? All right, here's what we did today. Total body elixir, I call it. We are working head to toe, really working on toning and shaping. What we did is groupings of three exercises before people would move on to the next. I call them like little pods. We have three exercises, do all three before you move on to the next. That's just how you do it at home, except this time, this week we're doing 90 seconds because we're really working on that burn, really trying to tone and shape those muscles. All right, so let's get started. Station one, you have bench step ups or taps. So using whatever you can, I'm hoping you have some kind of step up in your house and you're gonna do that for 90 seconds. If you cannot step up, just do taps, but get those arms moving, 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 moving. All right, doing that for 90 seconds. Then you're going into five push-ups, just like this. If you need to drop to your knees, drop to your knees. If you need to go to the wall, go to the wall. You're doing five. Flop over, and you're gonna do five dips. Knees bent is easier, much easier. Straight out legs, much harder. You're only doing five, but then you're gonna flop right back over. Five push-ups, five dips till you hit 90 seconds. Then, using something heavy, even if you have a big textbook or a brick, Terry, if you have a brick at home, that'd be awesome. You're gonna sit down with it, just like that, stand up and press. Sit down, stand up and press, and you'll do that for 90 seconds. So just like that, you got a minute and a half in, that's station one, and you are done. Moving on to station two, you have a goblet squat. So you're taking your dumbbell, holding it like this, right at the bell. You're gonna squat down, let it touch the ground, and as you come up, rotate it so you can press it over your head. Just like that. Rotate it in the middle. And you're going for 90 seconds. So anything that you have, somewhat heavy, dropping it down between your legs and pressing it. 90 seconds worth of that. Then we have a tabletop sit-up. You can use your couch. You can use a chair, whatever you have that you can set your med ball up on. So your feet are right underneath it. You're gonna reach over your head, set the ball up, come back down, pick it up, take it back. I know my head's probably going out of the picture so that it looks like that. Let me come on an angle. Okay, tabletop sit up. So you're setting it down at the table. And then the last one, you're working chest and shoulders. You need your dumbbells, hopefully you have them by now, or two cans of soup, anything will work just to give you a little bit of resistance. We're gonna do five shoulder presses, sorry, five chest presses, just like this, five of them. And then, after you do five, you're gonna sit up and five shoulder presses, just like that. Do five of those, come back down. Five chest presses, Sit up, five shoulder presses, and keep going to you get through 90 seconds. That completes station two. Now we're on to station three where we're using your med ball, working the oblique. So we're gonna be pretend that we're throwing it, but you're gonna hold on to it, just like this. <sighs> Across your body. <sighs> Do like 10 on one side, from your hip, straight arm, cross your body. You can see it's getting my heart rate up. It's great, do another 10 and just keep flipping flop until you get into 90 seconds. Those are oblique swings. All right, now, hopefully you have a little bit of a hallway or a little bit of space. You're gonna set up a mini suicide. So take like three objects. I'm gonna do it really close. One, two, three. Okay, so pretend, let's just pretend here that I have a long hallway. I am gonna run to my first object, pick it up, take it back to where I started. I'm gonna run to my second object. You don't have to run, you can walk and bring it back. And then I'm gonna go to my third object. Grab it, bring it back. Now, I have all three here, now I'm gonna take them back. Squat down, set it, pick up the next one, take it back. And then the last one, you're gonna pick it up, take it back, and keep doing that till your 90 seconds is up. That's a suicide. 
pick it up, put it back. Now, we are gonna work our hamstrings. This is a dumbbell leg curl. Sorry, I'm gonna put my backside to you just to show you how to do this. You're gonna lay down, you're gonna be propped up on your elbows. You're gonna grab that dumbbell between your feet. You wanna squeeze your toes together, squeeze your ankles and your knees and your butt cheeks. And you're gonna do that for 90 seconds. Work in the hamstrings. Got it? So just hold on to what you can, but think about squeezing toes together, heels together, knees, working that whole back side. I have 10 pounds here, even if you have eight, whatever you have, you can try to do it with your med ball as well if you don't have any weights. And that completes station three. Now we're on to four. Using your dumbbells, soup cans, whatever you have, you're gonna walk around your living room wherever you do your workouts doing curls. Think about good chest posture, walking curls, and curl all the way up, squeeze. Walking dumbbell curls, 90 seconds. Now you have a med ball slam, which we've done these many times before. You're gonna slam it, pick it up, single arm press. Slam it, pick it up, single arm press. Got it? Yahoo! And then you have jump rope, which I didn't bring mine here, but I do have a jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, you can just pretend. You're jumping rope for 90 seconds. If you can't jump, you can tap it, but get those arm swings going, okay? So 90 seconds of jumping rope. Now, that completes station four. We're on to station five. Squat row with a band. So you're gonna use a band around a fixed object like this, and I'll show you what you can do if you don't have a band. You're gonna squat down. Woo, my butt's hitting that. Arms are out straight, my palms are down. Squat down, come up and pull back, work in those lats. Squat down, pull back, squat, pull, squat, pull, okay? 90 seconds of that. If you don't have a band, you can do alternating dumbbell rows. It's that same motion as if you're starting a lawnmower. Okay? Good. Then you're doing a hip lift with your feet on the couch or the table. So get in close. And you're just working those hamstrings again, lifting up and down. And you're gonna do this, ow, for 90 seconds. Okay? You're gonna love that one. Then the last one. Cross body punches times eight, cross leg toe touches times eight. So one, two, three, four, go into eight, and then one, two, three, four, go into eight. Keep going till 90 seconds is up. Now, if you have a stability ball, we're on station six now. We have one more after this. We're doing snow angels. So if you have a ball you can sit on, Sit on it, nice, good posture, and then walk it out so that your hips and your low back are rested on the ball. You're gonna do snow angels, making that motion of making angel wings. Push the snow back, touch your thumbs over your head. Look, the ball's not moving, my legs are not moving. Touch your pinkies in front. Just like that, and you're gonna do that for 90 seconds. If you do not have a ball, you can do it to the ground. Touch by your toes, pinkies. Come up over your head nice and wide. Touch your thumbs. Come up. All right? Snow angels. 90 seconds. Working that core. Now, we're doing walking lunges with a pass and a press. You can use your med ball or a dumbbell. So you're going to take a step forward, pass it, press it. Pretend I'm walking forward. I'm trying to stay in the picture. Step forward, pass, press. Step forward, pass. Press. You're gonna do that for 90 seconds. All right, now, hopefully this will work on these mats. We're gonna do mountain climbers, 10 of them, and then 10 fast squats. So it looks like this. One, one, two, two. You're gliding to 10, come up. Five fast squats. You can do them to the table. One, one, two, two. Go into 10, five fast squats, and you're gonna keep doing that until 90 seconds is up. All right, last station. Using your gliders again. 
dumbbell inchworms with a guide, glider plate pull. So your feet are standing right in the middle. It's just a paper plate. That's all I'm using. You're going to do an inchworm with your dumbbells. Walk it out. So you get in that push-up position. Pull it in. Stand up and press. I'll show you the back side. Walk it out. Just like this. So push-up position. Pull it in. And press. One more time. Walk it out. I'm in that position nice and stable. Pull it in. Stand up. Great money maker exercise because it gets all those major muscle groups. We're almost done. This is a tough one. You're doing it for 90 seconds. Knee, knee. Stand, stand. Very functional. You can alternate the knee that you drop, like maybe every fourth, every fifth. Knee, knee. Stand, stand. If you need help, feel free. Use a table. If you can't that, do it, then just do squats. All right? And then the last one, I think we did these last week, Rocky sit-ups. Elbow to knee, and you're doing it for 90 seconds. Really working that core, trying to get your heart rate up, just like this. Elbow to knee. Go, go, go. Okay? That completes station seven. There are seven exercises, three in each and you are done. All right, I'm so proud of you guys. That completes week five, workout number one. We will see you in a couple days for workout two. Good job, everybody. Get a good sweat. Bye-bye.